Hey guys, I've got a back and bicep workout plan for us today. We're going to be doing a lot of different moves today, so I would get a couple different sets of dumbbells if you have it available. If not, just get what you have and we'll work with it. Also, we might want some type of strap or band. So I'm going to use a yoga strap. You can also use like a stretchy band if you have that. Even a broomstick will work, a mop. Um, you can also just use your body. So you don't necessarily have to have something. It might help. It's just for one move, so it's not the end of the world if you don't have one. So back and biceps. We're going to get going with a quick warm up. Really like to warm the body up before we get into the heavier weights, get the muscles move in, blood flow to the muscles. So we're starting with some T's, Y's, and W's. So for that, we're going to hinge at the hips, 90 degrees. Right from there, keeping the core pulled in, I'm going to open and close. We're going for about 15 reps here. So everything today, for the most part, I think it's going to be for reps. So try to stick with me. If you need to pause it to try to catch up, go for it. I'm at 10. So we're trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together right there. Um, not so much that the arms come super high like that, right? Just to shoulder height. We're going two more. There's nine. Or sorry, that's 15. You're going to learn that I can't count. And then from there, we're going to go for Y's. Thumbs up. About a 45 degree angle. Two. They so usually count with my fingers whenever I talk. So if I'm at four like that, in my mind, I'm either at four, nine, or 14. And sometimes I get those mixed up. <laughs> We're getting the upper back and the shoulders warmed up. I know we're not really working the shoulders today, but a lot of movement comes from the shoulder joint for this. So we want to make sure it's warmed up as well. That should be 14 and 15. And then W's, we're going to get elbows to about shoulder height. Rotate, fingers to the floor, fingers right in line with the crown of your head. Down and up. There's three, four. I like to spend at least five minutes warming up. Uh, personally, sometimes I'll hop on the bike or um, the treadmill, some type of cardio piece of equipment to really get the whole body warm. We should be at 14 and 15. Then we're gonna come all the way up, arms out to shoulder height. Forward circles. So a little softness at the elbows. We're going to go for three, two, one, and then flip the thumbs back and go backward circles. Let's go for five, three, two, one, and then we're going to come all the way down to the mat. One more move for our warm up. Get a little bit of space. Get your dumbbells out of the way. We're going for a Superman. So we're going to lay it down. Arms forward, tuck the head under. We're going to breathe it in, lift, breathe it out lower. Just going to go for 10. Feel your lower back warming up. There's six, seven, nine, ten. All right, so that's our warm up right there. We're going to get into our first circuit. So, first circuit, I believe we have four different moves that we want to get through. We're going to be doing wide row, bicep curls, hammer curl, pec deck, and reverse flies. So, for the wide rows, I'm going to go a little bit heavier, going for the 20s, and we're going to try to go for 12 reps. So we've got the feet under the hips, hinge from the hips and bend at the knees there. Keep your back flat, wrist facing your body. We're going to open and close, elbows out wide, 12 reps. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Core 
Core pulled in. Going four more. I'm at nine. And 12. Whew. All right. Dropping those, I'm gonna go into something a little bit lighter for a regular bicep curl. So we're gonna flip the wrist up to the shoulders and back down, 12 reps. And what we're doing are curls, even though we're just working the arms, try to have a strong base through your legs. I'm at nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna move right into our hammer curl pec deck. So, wrist face in, hammer curl, elbows to shoulder height, out, in, and back down. So, hammer, lift, out, in, down. We're gonna call that one, since the first one, you're just getting to know it. Two, sticking with 12. Three, so again, mostly biceps, but there's gonna be a tiny bit of shoulder right there. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, three more. 10, 11, and 12. All right, reverse flies. I'm gonna stick with my lighter weight, feet under the hips. We're gonna bend at the knees, push the hips back again, just like our wide row stance, except this time, wrists are facing each other, a little softness at the elbows, breathe it out, and in. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, work through the lats right there also to help steady the arms. Six, seven, controlling the motion. That should be at 11, 12. All right, we're gonna give it about 30 seconds. All right, it's important to give yourself a little bit of a break in between sets right there so your muscles can kind of regroup, regroup and get its energy back. If you go full on the whole time, you're really gonna feel weak. <laughs> it's good to take a little bit of a break. Like I said, get the energy back so you can get back into the heavier weights. So we're going back to our wide row, right? I'm gonna go back to the 20s. I've got 20s and 8s here. Um, ideally, I would have some 15s, maybe 12s. But working out from home, all I have are 20s and 8s right now. So we're gonna make it work. Wide rows, feet under the hips, wrists face the body. Hinge and bend in three, two, one. Go for 12. One, It is almost too heavy for me right there. All right, a little bit lighter, going for the curls. Right into it, 12 bicep curls. There's six. Nine. 11 and 12. Right into our hammer curl pec deck. Hammer, elbows to shoulder height, out, in, and down. There's one. So the back and biceps really pair nicely together because anytime you're working your back muscles, you're working your bicep muscles at the same time. So they work together. So whenever you pull, you're using your bicep muscles as well. Now that's why it's nice to keep them paired together in a workout. You don't have to. 
but it's a good way to get a little extra burn. I think I'm at eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right, reverse flies. Bending at the knees, hinging at the hips. In three, two, one, going for 12. 11 from the side. 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. All right, little breather. Let's give it 30 seconds. We've got one more set of this. Like I said, we've got three circuits going through each one three times. Um, each circuit has about three to four moves. So it's going good. All right, wide rows, curls, hammer curl pec deck, and reverse flats. Reverse flats get the shoulders too. Like I said, we're gonna get a little bit of shoulder in today. That's why we warmed it up. Not quite as much as the back and bicep though. All right, wide rows. Third set's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's go in three, two, one. I'm at six. Wishing I had some 15s right now. There's nine, 10. And 12. Whew. Yes, if you are really pushing it, like you saw right there, I was struggling for those last couple reps. Um, let's go into our curls. And uh, ideally, I would have liked to have 17 and a half or 15s. 20 was just a little bit too much. If you feel like you're starting to lose form, don't be afraid. Drop the weights for a second, take a quick breather, or drop down to a little bit lighter weight. 10, 11, 12. Flip the wrist, we're going right for it. Hammer, elbows up, out, in, down. There's one, two. Really focus on where the movement is coming from. Right, so I'm feeling it biceps and shoulders right there. Little bit of chest when the elbows come in right there. We're getting there. I got lost count a little bit. It's all right, let's just get two more reps. There we go, hammer, press, out, in, down. And then reverse fives. Three, two, one. 12 reps. Two, three. It's tough rolling from one right to the next, especially these reverse fives. These are tough. We're working a small muscle group right here. So you don't need much weight. Whenever you hit like the big muscles of the back, then you can bump the weight up like we did on the wide rows. All right, I wanna say that's 12 right there. Drop the weights, take a breather, sip of water if you need it. We're gonna switch our moves up. Next set, we only have three moves. That's because one of them is double-sided and it's a toughie. So, we're gonna be doing 21s, which is a bicep move. Then we're gonna come down for a renegade row oblique crunch, which is the tough one. And uh, then we have some Superman pulls, which is what we will need our band for. So let's see, I'm gonna stick with the eights for the first two moves. And then the last move, we've got the band. So uh, first move, 21s. We've got some weight, let me show you real quick. We're gonna go seven reps lower half, right? So I'm going right up to 90 degrees. I'm not going any higher, not going any lower, right? Halfway, all the way down. Seven reps there, then seven reps all the way up, down halfway, followed by seven full, right? So 21. All right, so let's get after that in three, two, 
one, seven lower half. Right, these ones aren't too bad. And try not to let your elbows take the weight off into your body, right? Keep them out a little bit. Okay, that should be seven. So now come up halfway. We're gonna start from here, all the way up, down half for one, two, three, four, five, six. Now down all the way, starting up our seven all the way. Seven, six, this is where it usually starts to sink in a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, oblique crunch, or sorry, renegade row with our oblique crunch. We get these out of the way. We just need one weight. Okay, so I'm gonna show you first, weight in the left hand. I'm gonna come up into a high plank. Now I'm gonna row my left, that weight, that left hand up to the inside of my armpit there. And then as I do that, I'm gonna pivot on my left foot, bring my right foot to the inside of my left knee and back down. So that would be one, right? Now I'm not gonna start counting yet because I want you guys to feel comfortable with that. Play around with it if you need to. But we are gonna go ahead and start up. We've got 10 reps per side. In three, two, one. Pivot on the left foot, row up and twist. There's one, two, this one is more so a core move, I'd say, than anything. And you can see how my foot has to readjust every time. It's mostly because of the mat that I'm on. Six. Seven. Eight. Control it. Nine. And... 10. Now, I'm going to get rid of this part of the mat that is really annoying me. And then we're going to go for the other side. In three, two, one. Pivot and pull. Feel it in your left oblique here as we twist to the right. Ooh, and if you lose your balance, it's okay. Just restart it. Should have two more. Nine. Ten. Ooh, all right. Coming down. Get my mat back out. Like I said, feel free to adjust whatever you need to. All right, make the workout work for you, not against you. All right, so now we need our band. Like I said, it can be a stretchy band. I've got a yoga strap. You can use a broomstick. Anything will work. So we're gonna lay it down. This is gonna work into our lats and upper back. Now I want you to get your arms out, uh, kind of like a big Y, right? Just wider than shoulders. Your head is gonna be tucked under. Feet stay on the ground. Lift the head and shoulders and hold it there. We're gonna pull behind the head till you get to like the shoulders there and push forward. Breathe it out and in. While you're doing that, really focus on your upper back, your lat squeezing. You'll feel it in your lower back too. All right, let's go in three, two, one. We're going 12 reps. One. And take it slow. Sometimes I see people do this one super quick, which I know it's uncomfortable, so you wanna get it done quicker, but it's kind of defeating the purpose. Uh, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, 30 seconds. We're getting ready to go back to 21s. Bring it up. That one gets me. Stop. All right. 
All right, getting ready. Five step action, going back to the eights. Seven lower, seven upper, and seven full. All right, get ready. We got about five seconds. And three, two, one. Let's go seven lower. They always start out so easy. So deceiving. <laughs> I'm at six, seven. Now don't cheat yourself. Don't go all the way up from there. All the way down, then come back up halfway, all the way up, down half. I know it's like a little bit extra, but why not? Five, six, seven, down all the way, up all the way. One, two, right? Keep your strong base through your legs, core engaged. Six and seven. All right, we're already back to that row oblique twist. So I'm gonna get my mat tucked up, get that done right away. I'm starting out with the weight in my left hand, going for 10 per side. Three, two, one. We row and twist. Kind of a simultaneous movement there. And you can see I'm adjusting each time still because I want to keep my right shoulder over my right wrist from the start. I get it's gonna move a little bit, but you wanna start each rep as strong as possible in the best starting position you can. There's seven, eight, nine, and if this one is just like, you're like, I don't know what the heck is going on, your brain just can't get it, I totally understand. That was 10, by the way. Um, you can also just stick with a row if you want and take that twist out. Like I said, make it work for you, not against you. I'm switching. I'm going to face this way this time. So you're probably already halfway through your other side. Good for you. Starting up, left hand down, weight in the right. Lift and crunch. Eight, nine, ten. That's good. All right, on to the Superman poles. Down on our mat. Get your prop. You can do it without a prop if you want. Twelve reps. Hands outside the shoulders. In three, two, one. Lift and pull. Focus on the inside of your thighs, spiraling up towards the ceiling. So outer thighs drop down, inner thighs lift, squeezing through the inner thighs. Should be a little bit past halfway, I'm at seven, eight, it's a tough one, 11, 12. Whew. That one gets me shaking. Okay, 30 second breather. One more round, going back to the 21s. And then after that, we've got one more circuit three times through, and you're done. All right. Take a breath, sip of water if you need it. You got about 10 seconds. I'm going back to the eights. I think my arms would fall off if I tried 20s. <laughs> All right, seven lower half. Three, two, one. Here we go. At six, seven, coming up halfway. All the way down half for seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
One, down all the way, up all the way. Seven, six, five, and three, two, one. All right, it's a nice way to ease into that circuit. Very gentle compared to the other two moves. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the opposite side this time. I'm gonna get my right arm working, left hand down. All right, three, two, one. 10 reps per side. Keep the core engaged, but don't forget about the arm. Still try to feel it behind that right shoulder blade. I'm at seven, whew, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay, other side. Switch the mat. There we go. In three, two, one. It also helps to double pad it where your hand is if you have a hard surface. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Not gonna lie, I'm happy those are done. All right. Superman pulls. We're down. Set. Three, two, one. Lift. Squeeze. Try to slow your breathing. We breathe it out and in. I'm at four, five, keep your neck long, six, core engaged even though we're laying down. Two more, 11, 12. Whew. Okay. Take it. And 12. Whew. Okay. Take a break. We're going into our next circuit, last circuit. Uh, we've got four moves. We're going to do some inverse rows. Zontman curls, pullovers, and then we're gonna combo that pullover with a little bit of core work. So I'm gonna keep my eights and my twenties out. I'm gonna be using both. So while you guys are taking your breather, I'm gonna show you the first move. We've got an inverse row. So I'm gonna start with twenties. I'm probably gonna end up with eights. So inverse, just like our wide row, except we're gonna keep our elbows tucked in a little bit more and our wrists are gonna face forward. I'm gonna pull up right to like underneath where your sports bra is. That's where I want the weights to kind of come up to. And you're keeping your knees and hips bent, core engaged. This is gonna hit a little bit higher up on our back. 12 reps there. Then, uh, like I said, a little bit of biceps. Then we're coming down to the mat, back and core. So inverse, we're trying 12. I'm gonna try to hit six with the 20s and maybe have to drop to the eights. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Give it a good squeeze up top there. I don't know, I'm feeling good. Seven, eight, nine, 11, 12. Whew, okay. I'm going to switch out to my eights. Zotman curls. It's going to get your uh, biceps and your forearms. So we're going to curl all the way up. 
flip the wrist, come down with the wrist facing down, then flip and go back up. Going for 12. Three, two, one. Curl, flip it, lower down. There's one, two, three, right, biceps and forearms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, then we're going to lay down. We've got a pullover. If you have a bench, you can do it off of that. And I am going to go for 120. So a couple different ways you can hold your weight, right? You can hold it like this with one hand over the other. If you're down on the floor, I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to hit the floor before you can really hit your full range of motion. So I'm going to hold it by the two ends, overhead and pull back up. Now, if you have two lighter weights, you can press them together and do the same type of motion, right? We're trying to squeeze back up through our lats right here. You might feel it through your triceps and your shoulder joint a little bit as well. That's okay. Um, I'm actually gonna stick with my two weights. Let's get ready. Go in 12 reps in three, two, one. Breathe it in and out. You're lifting right up to above the chest. I'm at seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to lift the legs up. We're going to keep that pullover, but when the legs go overhead, we're going to extend the legs out and in. Try to keep your back flat against the mat. Push down using the core. Go for 12. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm at 11 and 12. Okay, take a breather. 30 seconds, we're going through it again. Two more times. So get ready for those inverse rows. We don't need our strap anymore. You can kind of get rid of that. Inverse rows, zontmans, pullovers, pullover with the leg extension. Inverse row. Got about 10 seconds. Get your weights. Get ready. Start thinking about it. Okay, so we're going to go in five, three, two, one. Pull and lower. There's one. Squeeze as you lift. I've got two more, 12. All right, Zotman curls are next. Grab your weights, get ready. And three, two, one. Curl, flip, lower. Now ideally, those weights should be heavy enough that the last two to three reps are pretty tough. All right, you can still get them but you're like, man, that's probably the last one that you could get. Six. Seven. You want to feel that burn. That's where the changes are made. Keep going. I'm at 10. 11. 12. 
All right, quick transitions. We're going down. I'm actually gonna keep these weights going down for the pullover. In three, two, one. 12 reps. Focus on the lats working. I'm at 10. Get ready to add that leg extension. 11 and 12 legs up. We're moving right into it. Out and in. Now those legs go as low to the ground as you can get them with keeping a flat back. Now if your legs are out and your back is arching, you should take a little bit off of how low those legs are. I'm at eight, nine, breathe through, 11, 12. Okay, Ooh, one more round, almost done. This is like the best part of the workout right here. Whenever you can check off every last move and know you're done. All right, back to the inverse row. Take a second, grab some water if you need it. Oh, my arms are shaking. It's from this 20s, you're getting me today. All right, let's go into it. Inverse row in three, two, one, 12 reps. The last set should be Pretty difficult. I'm at seven. Ten. Keep it in the back. Eleven. Twelve. Whew. Okay, I'm done with these twenties. Yes. All right. Zotman curls. In three, two, one. Curl, flip. Lower, going 12, two, three, four. Even though I would normally use something a little bit heavier than this, I'm still feeling the burn, still know that it's doing my body good. Ten. Let's go two more. 11 and 12. So don't be too concerned if you want to do this workout and you're like, oh man, I don't have the right weights for it. You know, you can still make it work. Okay, right into our pullovers. 12 reps. I know that's going to come in handy right at the end of the workout. <laughs> I should have said that in the beginning. I think I might have. Can't remember. Engage the core, even though we're working the arms, right? You're always working the whole body. It's not just one body part, you know? There's 10, let's go two more. 11 and 12, now add that leg extension. You're definitely targeting one area, but your whole body is still working. Try to breathe through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, and twelve. All right, all done. Awesome job, guys. Man, I'm feeling it. Okay, let's bring it up. We're gonna get just a super quick stretch. We can stay seated even since we didn't even work the legs. We're gonna go ahead and get a quick shoulder stretch. 
which I know we hit the back and the biceps. It's all connected. Shoulders and back directly connected. So stretching both. Yeah, switch sides. Just a quick stretch. Keep the shoulder down away from the ear. And come down, thumbs down, push back, shoulders down. You should feel a nice stretch all the way through the inside of your arm there. Hold it for about 10. Five, three, two, one, arms overhead. Really quick stretch, stretch side to side. Let's get one more on each side. Breathe it in and out, in and out. All right, nice job guys. That's our back and bicep workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you liked about it, uh, what you want to see a little bit more of next time. And thanks for checking it out. I'll see you later. Bye.